Yes. Yeah. Um, so there's only three questions in here. Let's lightning round these three, and then let's, let's see if we have any volunteers to uh, join us on video. Okay, I'll I'll ask them the next one. You can answer it. Uh, right. uh, oh, except I have to pronounce a French name. Jean Michel. Last week, uh, over the last couple of weeks, my sixty to ninety minute highlights turned out to be four hours of effective work throughout the day. Why do you set this sixty to ninety minute time box as a good practice? Hmm. So that happens to me a lot um, when I am. Well, I think partially because I've been I've been doing this highlight thing for a while, and so I you know I tend to kind of take on bigger and bigger things. And because you know my a lot of my work really is that kind of sort of deep work that requires uninterrupted focus. So I will um, you know I'll sort of bite off bigger pieces as as my highlights. Um, the reason that we we recommend sixty to ninety minutes is that it feels to us like um, like a sweet spot because it's big enough that you can do something um, worthwhile, something substantial. It's not a fleeting moment, but it's something you can really kind of get your get your hands around. But it's small enough that it's not like a crazy challenge to fit it into your day. Like by by maybe moving things a little bit or by kind of reclaiming some some time that would otherwise just be spent in infinity pools. Most people find that they can grab sixty to ninety minutes. Um, later, I found out um, from a friend of mine, um, actually a friend of, of ja uh, Jackie's, who's in the in the um, course here with us, named Pilar. She told me that um, that there's actually this like whole universe of research about um, the natural rhythms of of life, um, and everybody knows about circadian rhythms, which are like the sort of 24 hour cycle of like when you sleep and when you wake up. But there's this idea of ultradian rhythms. Um, which defines sort of the cycles within the day. And there's pretty strong research that we operate on like a 90 minute cycle that we need to like, we can do stuff for like 90 minutes ish. And then we need to take a break for like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and I'll, I'll share the, the, there's a, there's a really interesting book about this. I'll share the link to it. But um, so we sort of intuitively like came upon this and, and I think we had observed it in our, in our sprints, you know, design sprints too, but it turns out there's actually some, some research about it too. Yeah, in our design sprints, we used to divide the day up into a work day into four um, 60 to 90 minute chunks with break. You know, you have a morning, uh, a morning block, a break, a block, lunch, a block, a break, a block, and then you're done. And, and, and that's kind of, you know, the max. And you could see people like their attention start to wane. Um, people have to go to the bathroom. I mean, that's sort of a, so all these things that kind of happen at 60 to 90 minutes. But as John said, and I, I brought my timer over, that's why I disappeared for a moment. Um, this is, you know, kind of like, here's, here's 60 minutes and here's 90. Um, and this timer goes to 120 minutes because it's kind of perfect for, for make time highlight thinking. But, um, but if you have 60 minutes, it normally would take me at best, it's gonna take me like 10 minutes or maybe 15 to really kind of get into the task. And then, okay, now I'm, I'm doing it, I'm focused on it, I'm going. And then like probably the last bit of time, start to be aware of what's going up, I need to kind of wrap up. And so even in 60 minutes, there might only be like 30 minutes of flow and that's enough to get some progress and really be in it and doing it. But it doesn't mean that every highlight has to be 60 to 90 minutes. Some will be longer and certainly some, a lot of them will be shorter. I've been finding that when I play with my son Flynn lately and I've been playing Pirates with him. In fact, I have another prop here. This is the uh, Playmobil pirate ship that I've had for a, uh, <laughs> We've had for almost two decades now. I play with my my older son too. Um, I got that for like twenty bucks uh, back in the early two thousands, and that's uh, a great uh, that's so money cool. ever spent. Anyway, but I, I'll set the time timer for playing with him because I can only do intense pirate pretend for like twenty minutes tops, um, and I'll set the timer. And twenty minutes of intense pirate pretend is like great, and he's satisfied and I'm happy. But um, <laughs> that's fine too. But sixty to ninety minutes for lots of work tasks or like things where you want to work on a project is is good, especially where there's some mental boot up time. You need to yeah. kind of get some things loaded into your, your mental RAM. If you can go longer, don't feel bad about that. That's awesome. Yeah. But don't hold yourself to four hours every time even yeah. if you're doing that sometimes. All right, I'll, I'll read this next question to you, Jake. Um, from Alex, I love my distraction-free phone. What are your thoughts on Safari and Chrome on phones? I may have missed this in your discussion, but I remember it being included in the previous articles on Medium. I'll be quicker with my answer this time and no props. Uh, Safari and Chrome, 